Revelation 11, 6, These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. These have the power to shut heaven, that it rain not. The two witnesses have the authority to shut heaven that it does not rain like Elijah did. The authority implies that they are able to pick and choose locations where it stops raining. No rain or too much rain is a curse on the land. It is an end state of destruction because the authority of the land has rejected God. In the days of their prophecy, the two witnesses will prophesy 1260 days. Power over waters to turn them to blood. These are the same events as the first trumpet and similar to Moses who turned the water into blood. To smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. The Greek word plague means stripe, blow, injure and will include any or all destructive situations to cause the people to repent for worshipping demons and idols. All plagues could include the following, hail, fire, floods, famine, locusts, water into blood, darkness, diseases of various kinds, swarms of animals, earthquakes, bitter water, severe pain, etc. The two witnesses are able to exercise this authority as they desire. Side note, the first time the Greek word plague is used in the scripture refers to the final plague that caused Pharaoh to let the Israelites go, the killing of all the firstborn in Egypt. Revelation 11, 7 And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. When they shall have finished their testimony. When the two witnesses have finished testifying the plan of God to the world for 1260 days, then their end will come. This means they are finished doing their two ministries, two lampstands, that is, finished protecting the 144,000 Israelite men who are sealed and are spreading the good news of Yeshua, and finished causing the world to fear God by the prophecies and plagues given through them. The beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit. He is the same as the angel of the bottomless pit, Abaddon, the angel of destruction. The Greek word for bottomless is also the same word for abyss meaning unmeasured depth. The demons who saw Yeshua on earth begged him not to cast them into the abyss, possible because he had the keys of the abyss. This bottomless pit is also the place where Satan will be bound for 1000 years. The ten kings who have been reigning and then later reigning with the first beast as the leader, were unable to stop the two witnesses. Therefore, Satan releases another fallen angel named Abaddon from the bottomless pit to destroy the two witnesses. Shall make war against them the beast from the bottomless pit will come out at the fifth trumpet, which is two year after the start of the seven year world tribulation period. This means the second beast, false prophet, from the bottomless pit would be making war with the two witnesses for about one year before being able to kill them. Side note, the timeline of two year after the start of the tribulation period is derived from 1260 days minus 391 days for the plague at the sixth trumpet, minus 150 days for the plague at the fifth trumpet equals 719 days from the start, thus two years. Shall overcome them and kill them. He will overpower, subdue, and have victory over them. He will put them to death. Revelation 11, 8 And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The two witnesses Moses and Elijah are killed by the beast that ascended from the bottomless pit. Their bodies lay exposed in a wide path, market or street. Possibly people will be live streaming videos of their dead bodies to the world. Of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Great city is Jerusalem where the temple is and where the two witnesses would have testified from. There are a number of great city cities mentioned in the scripture, reason on Tigris River, cities of the sons of Anakims in the land of Canaan, other cities in Canaan, Gibeon, east side of Jordan and above Sea of Galilee, Nineveh, Jerusalem and the New Jerusalem. Now based on where our Lord was crucified even though it was just outside of Jerusalem, the location is called Jerusalem. It has been trampled by the Gentiles for 42 months. The reason it is called Sodom specifically is because of their stubbornness, pride, wickedness and sexual filth for example sodomy. The reason it is called Egypt is for idolatry and oppression of God's people. Therefore, the great city mentioned here is Jerusalem and not Babylon.
Revelation 11, 9, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. They of people and kindreds and tongues and nations, people are those who are recognizable by John, probably Israelites. Kindreds, races or tribes are those who are denoted with unique physical genetic attributes. Tongues are those who speak a different language or dialect. Nations are those who are denoted by national boundaries, customs and laws. Shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. Many will see their dead bodies exposed on the street for three and a half days as if there is a continual media streaming of their dead bodies. Yeshua death to resurrection was also three days. Shall of the witnesses, not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. There will be some wanting to entomb the bodies but the authorities will refuse their requests. Revelation 11:10. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. They that dwell upon the earth shall. This is not limited to the people who dwell in Jerusalem but to the entire earth. The two witnesses will be demonized by the world and its global media. The media will probably be streaming the two witnesses' dead bodies. Rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. The people of the world will rejoice, make merry and give gifts. The Greek word rejoice means an inner gladness based on total relief. The Greek word for merry is an outward expression of that inner gladness, to celebrate. One of the many forms of celebrating is the giving of gifts. This is what they do because they are relieved that the two witnesses were dead. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. These two witnesses were two prophets and would have tormented the entire earth with plagues for 1260 days. Prophets of God are those who speak as God commands them. They specifically declare direction about the future and give warnings. They are persecuted by those who reject the message. There is a reward for those who listen to God's prophets and there is a warning not to hurt his prophets.